Hey everybody, uh, this is just a quick uh, response to uh, Stefan's thread. I want to say Stefan, I don't know if it's Steven or Stefan, you can let me know. Uh, and I wanted to do a couple other uh, little random musings before I hit the sack, uh, figure I'd take the chance to do it. Um, well first, uh, I'll go ahead and respond to your three questions. Um, first, uh, I think I might have this out of order, so uh, let's see. Um, favorite Christmas album? This is going to be kind of lame in a way, or I'm going to sort of improvise on this uh, question because I don't really have a favorite uh, Christmas album, but I can maybe say I have a favorite Christmas artist, and uh, it's just because I associate him so much with, with the season, and he and he just has such a smooth voice as just Nat King Cole. Um, I know that's kind of a square answer in a way, but uh, it's just his smooth vocals, it's just, you know, I, I always associate hearing his voice with Christmas, so. Um, Worst concert. Again, I'm going to have to improvise a little bit here because uh, I don't really remember, have any super bad memories of any concerts that I've been to. Um, so I'm going to kind of alter this a little bit in that uh, maybe the worst experience maybe that I've had that I can think of was actually at a Matthew Sweet concert that I went to, I think, about 96 or 97. Um, the show was so damn loud. I mean, I couldn't believe how loud it was. And the stage was one of these kind of stage setups where uh, it was a small air, you know, room, relatively small room that maybe fit about 500 people or so. Um, and the stage was about four feet up or three feet up, so it's right at ear, ear level. And uh, they were freaking loud, loud. And that was, I felt like, I, I played in bands, you know, off and off for 15 years or so. And... The, to me, I felt like that was what took kind of, took my tinnitus to a notch higher. I mean, I don't really have tinnitus. I have a little bit of buzzing once in a while, but that it was like after that, I felt like I had some sort of permanent ear, ear damage. And you wouldn't think someone like Matthew Sweet, but uh, yeah, it was loud. So I guess you know the the concert was excellent, but I didn't have earplugs, so I kind of suffered a little bit. Um, so the last one is New Year's resolution. I guess my resolution is sort of something uh, that some people would not uh, do because there's a little bit of this back and forth of whether you're a collector or just a lover of music. Um, I know some of you have said that you know you don't really collect, it's just about getting stuff um, that you enjoy. Um, of course, you know that's my thing too, but I'm also a collector, so I do have a little bit of that completist gene where I want to start completing uh, certain artists and that sort of thing. So um, my New Year's resolution, I guess, would be that I start focusing my purchases a little bit, which may sound kind of lame in a way because it sounds so cold and calculated. Um, but my problem is I like every kind of music. I like something from everything. So I could just be all over the place when I go out and spend my money. And that's what my collection shows right now. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. I have one or two albums from certain artists and I'd like to kind of start focusing on certain, some of my favorite artists that I have on a lot of stuff on CD, but only have maybe one or two things on vinyl. So um, I guess that does it really for that. So um, I wanted to just sort of do some random other stuff. Dan from Canada, if you happen to be watching this, um, I got this in my mailbox today um, that I have to go pick it up. I didn't know that it was going to be added to sign it. I actually had somebody at the idea why if they just cheated and put it in the box or what, but uh, I had to put off one more day until I get to see the album, so uh, I'll do a video whenever I get it. A um, couple other things, I just got a couple of random things at, uh, at uh, Goodwill on the way home from uh, a work meeting. Um, they're actually CDs, so uh, first one is uh, Granddaddy, Someday, and uh, I'm really curious to know if I, I had seen uh, that a uh, couple of the Granddaddy albums, including this one, is, are being re, supposed to be reissued on vinyl. I guess they were originally available on vinyl, but um, um, they're out of the, that is out of print and they're super expensive to get. But it's supposed to come out. And I think they actually originally had a, an Amazon release date and it was taken off. Um, what little brief uh, research I, I found was that uh, it sounds like uh, Jason Lytle from uh, the main guy from uh, from the band that what it was written on a comment post was that uh, he wasn't happy with uh, the test pressing. So uh, that would sort of make logical sense that there was probably a, a set date for release, <clears throat> excuse me, for release and uh, 
he just wasn't happy with it. So I guess in a way, it's better for us as fans to wait a couple, two or three months and, and get something that's going to sound great. Um, I'm not as familiar with Someday, but uh, Software Slump, it's just, it's just a, I love that album. I, I lent it to a friend in Florida, and he kept it. I haven't seen it since. <laughs> uh, another one I've got is uh, Cocteau Twins. I have nothing about the Cocteau Twins, but I'm familiar with them being uh, mainly from my days um, in my early 20s hanging out at the, uh, at the local alternative dance clubs. You always heard Cocteau Twins with all the other 80s alternative stuff. Um, one other very random thing here. I got this record for a buck, Mystic Moods. That'll be, uh, I love cheesy stuff from the 60s and 70s and stuff that's not even necessarily that cheesy. I love exotic and stuff like that. So that'll be one of my things that I'll eventually get to is showing some of my easy listening. That's sort of one of my, I don't know if you want to call it closeted sort of guilty pleasures, but uh, I, I enjoy some easy, li easy listening and some of these sort of quirky uh, exotica music. So um, that's it. I think that... Uh, I'm going to try to do a thread video myself. I uh, I have such a hard time keeping up with the threads. I mean, I only have so much time allotted to this little YouTube community, and uh, I spend most of that time watching the videos that you guys put out there, and I enjoy them so much. And then I occasionally do my own ones like this, so I just have such a hard time dedicating uh, videos for the, for the threads, but I'd like to try to get involved with it a little bit more. And I think the one I'm going to put up um, maybe the next few days or so It'll be really simple, maybe just one question. So uh, anyway, till then, see ya.